How to answer questions in GCSE Business Lesson 2 Application Let's talk about how to structure your responses to various exam questions. Below are some logical steps to take when responding to various questions. Use these crib sheets to practice and perfect your answers, ensuring you have covered all the relevant points, including analysis and evaluation. 6 marks. Analysis. Make your point, ideally taken from the case study. For example, one advantage to company X of the increased use of technology is now explain it using a chain of argument. This is an advantage because, which means, which would lead to, which means, therefore, which means. Nine marks analysis. Make your first point, ideally taken from the case study, which should be a good point. One advantage to company X of producing high quality lawn mowers is... Now explain it using a shortened chain of argument. This is an advantage because, which would lead to, therefore, make your second point, ideally taken from the case study, which should be a bad point. However, this would be bad for company X because, now explain it using a shortened chain of argument. This is an advantage because, which would lead to, therefore. Evaluation. I think that company X should continue to produce high quality lawn mowers. Or, I don't think that company X should continue to produce high quality lawn mowers. The reason for this is because, which in the short term would lead to, therefore in the long term, even though, Explain something good about unchosen option versus explain something even better about chosen option. And or, it depends on because, which would lead to, therefore. Please note, if you know that your chain of argument doesn't usually have enough detail, add back in which means. This is because which means, which would lead to, which means, therefore, which means. 12 marks, analysis. Make your first point, ideally taken from the case study, which should be a good point about option one. One advantage to company X of delegating to employees is, now explain it using a shortened chain of argument. This is an advantage because which would lead to, therefore, make your second point, ideally taken from the case study, which should be a good point about option two. One advantage to company X of using lean production is, now explain it using a shortened chain of argument. This is an advantage because, which would lead to, therefore, evaluation. For L4, 10 to 12 marks, throughout your whole AJIM evaluation, you should be referring to different functional areas, stakeholders and aims if you can. I think that delegating to employees would have the biggest impact on company X efficiency. Or, I think that using lean production would have the biggest impact on company X efficiency. The reason for this is bad thing about unchosen, whereas good thing about chosen. Don't repeat analysis. Because, which would lead to, therefore. It depends on, because, which would lead to, therefore. The most significant reason for this is because, which in the short term would lead to, therefore in the long term, even though, Explain something good about unchosen option versus explain something even better about chosen option. NB. 
If you know that your chain of argument doesn't usually have enough detail, add back in which means. This is because which means, which would lead to, which means, therefore, which means. Thank you.